Santa Barbara Baker here, baking up a pepperoni thin and crispy bar pie. I'm using the dough recipe from the Ken Forkish book, The Elements of Pizza. Check out my video where I go through the whole recipe. I also have another video up where I show you how to prepare your pan and stretch your bar pie pizza dough. Get it all ready to fire. Got my dough ready here. I also have gone through and docked it. I would just use a fork preventing it from popping up. So for the classic pepperoni, you gotta hit it with the world's best tomato sauce. The recipe is up on the blog, that's santabarberbaker.com. One ladle full here, going into the center of the pizza, then spin it around, spreading it out with the crust like this. I like to leave about a half inch from the edge of the pan. Get a nice even coat here. And for, you know, these we're keeping with the OG basic, you know, the like, this is the super bomb though, the roni pie. My, one of my favorites, I, you know, the Marg's definitely my favorite of all time, the, or the plain cheese pizza. But I think a roni's gotta come in second. And for those classic flavors like that, I like to hit it with some dried oregano. I'm just gonna shake some on here. I feel that perfume up so nicely, giving me that classic pizza vibes. The cheese, I've been using this little blend for my bar pies pizza. Bar pie pizza lately, you've got the age mods, always the dank, so great for making pizza. Some Havarti, changing it up a little bit there. I know it's not a classic pizza cheese, but it melts really well, tastes dank, it's the bomb. And another, the Hattie's for sure, the Parmigiano Reggiano, got that mixed in there, nice little salty vibe from that. And also it brings a little bit of, you know, if you're shaking from those pre-shredded bags, they got some starch or something on there to prevent the cheese from sticking. A little parm, even better. For a bar by pizza, you wanna load it up pretty good here with the cheese. I'm doing a nice layer covering up the whole pizza. Looking really good to me. For the Ronies, let's just go. Use up the rest of the cheese here. That looks great. Ronies today. I'm gonna load this thing up all the way around, starting at the edge going in. I wanna have a layer covering the whole entire pizza. The Ronies, they will shrink as they bake. These ones don't cut quite as much as some, but I think they're gonna be really bomb on this pizza. I'm gonna get the rest of these Ronies all loaded up. I'm kind of like slightly overlapping them here. I like doing it that way. Gonna get the rest of them up on here. We'll load it up onto the preheated baking steel. I got that thing cranked in there for about an hour, making sure the steel is nice and hot. You want that thing screaming hot when you're baking the pizza. We get that thing loaded up. It's bar pie pizza time. One. Got our classic Roni bar pie pizza ready to load. I have the baking steel fully preheated. Middle rack, we're gonna go directly right onto the steel and pop it back in there, let it bake for nine minutes till it's nice and bubbly and the crust pulls away from the edge and it's looking good. It's pizza time. It's been nine minutes and this pepperoni bar pie pizza is smelling totally ridiculously delicious. I can hear it sizzling up. I just checked on it. It looked like it was pulling away from the sides of the pan. Cheese all bubbly, all things I like to see. I'm gonna pull it out of the oven and onto our cooling rack here. Keep the oven fully blasting because what we're gonna do here is carefully remove the bar pie pizza from the pan, put it on the rack just for a second, but then we're gonna load it back up onto the baking steel for about two minutes to crisp it up. And how I like to get it out of here, the pan is super hot, it's a little bit tricky. You can use an offset spatula or a fish spatula or a combination of the both. I like starting with the fish spatula just freeing it up here. This is all looking pretty good. Looks like we're gonna be fine here. You just wanna make sure you got some, that the pizza's able to lift up freely. You don't wanna rip it when you're taking out. Sometimes you get cheese stuck there on the edge. Now let's see if I can get in here, get this thing popped up, being careful here. All right, now here's the, the trick too. You can go like this, get it started. Go in with the fish spatula underneath. This can be a little bit of a tricky maneuver. In it quickly out of here, onto the cooling rack. Oh, a little bit sketchy here, but we're good. All that roni grease in the pan made it a little dicey getting it out. But we survived, no rips. This pizza's looking absolutely delicious for sure. 
Just gonna load it up using a simple pizza peel here, put it directly onto the baking steel, let it crisp up for about two minutes, got the baking steel still cranked at 500, put it right on there, get this thing crisp up, it's pizza time. Our bar pie pizza is finishing crisping up, looks fireballs for sure, smelling insane, the grease kind of smoking there on the baking steel, look at that thing sizzling up. This one looks super bomb onto the bait, oh, oh, excuse me, off the baking steel, onto the beans steel, onto the cooling rack. That's so we make sure that our crust can set. Don't want to go for that crispy bottom getting all soggy on a pan. I'm going to get this thing sliced up. We'll take it for a taste in the booth. It's brownie bar pie pizza time. I'm here with the thin and crispy Roni bar pie pizza, pepperoni, America's favorite pizza topping for good reason. It's totally delicious. This pizza looks really good to me. Super thin, crispy. Like I was saying, you gotta load up the Roni's. They shrink so much as they cook. So just layer on a full covering, a nice blanket of those Roni chalices. These ones aren't quite chalices, the little curls. I like the little thin ones for this type of pizza. Let's pick this thing up. Look at that thing, so nice, crispy. Maybe a little bit dark on the bottom there, but I think overall it still will taste really good. You gotta be careful here with the Roni bar pies because it starts dumping some grease on your baking steel, smokes up for sure, and you get a little bit of burning maybe. But I don't think that, I think this thing is looking dank, but make sure, keep an eye on your smoke detectors because they might alert you that your pizza is frying up. Let's get into this thing, it smells absolutely delicious. The crunch, the blanket of roni deliciousness. This pizza tastes totally, I mean, this one's epic. It's not feeling burnt at all. I was just tripping on the bottom there. It's crispy. You know, it's a little like bar pie. You want it kind of on that well done style. It's not really something you want soft. So crispy lifestyle is what we like to live here sometimes around Santa Barbara Baker. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please like and subscribe if you did. You can't go wrong with the bar pie pepperoni pizza. I really hope you guys make up some bar pies. They're a lot of fun to make, fun to eat, and just bring some nostalgia. It almost tastes like a little bit like junk food, but we're only using the fire most heady OG ingredients here. So we know it's bomb, even though it's got that little flavor. Love you all. Hope you're dreaming about pizza, baking pizza, eat some bar pie. One love.